All right, rolling on another show as always. Gunny yeah. Matheson, grow the show. Joe Schmidt, and as we promised, yeah, Jason, Jason Van Landingham. Jason, good to have you here. We've yeah, been yeah, trying to get here, you right? here for a minute again because you were the leading rider last year, and you've been too good for us for a month. What's going on? Well, the interesting part about that is Tom will usually call me on a Wednesday at about 4.30 <laughs> hey, and yeah. say, can you be at the house in an hour to do the show? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Well, I mean, there's sometimes, I mean, rarely do I have plans, but sometimes. Sometimes you do. Sometimes just, I have plans. It just so happened to be four Wednesdays in a row you had plans. Yeah. I get it. Well, I, I was going to. To get to the triangle sale, so you could buy a fine horse off of us. Yep, he's going to be great. And then I had to go to uh, Germany and do a clinic over there, and so now we're back, and uh, we have had no sleep for the last week and a half, and here we are, gutting through to be on Love the, it. Show. the show. With Love a it. good the, sense of humor, show. too. Second I mean, time. We're smiling. We're yeah. in a good mood. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. Where'd you go in Germany? Yeah. Where did I go in Germany? Okay, so we landed in Berlin, and a car picked us up, and we drove about 45 minutes. I have no idea what direction. <laughs> it was raining and dark and the whole thing, uh, so we were in a car going somewhere for cold. 45 minutes. It was cold and wet. And you know, it's, it's been perfect. miserable here in North Texas till last week. Sun comes out at 75 degrees. I'm in short sleeves getting on the airplane. I get off. Cold and wet. 32 degrees, yes. and it's raining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at yes. 33, because it never did snow or ice on us, but it was it was pretty chilly while we were there. How, yeah. how many days? Uh, four days of clinics, two open rider days, two non-pro days. It was good. Got a lot, met a lot of good people and, and cool. good horses. And I'm going to put you on the spot with this question, but we're going to start putting people more on the spot. Put them on the spot. I can handle it. Yeah, Is it ready? Was it worth the money? So... I told my wife to price it where they would not, um, where they would say, well, no. That's too much. Uh, that's too much. And they said, come on, we're going to sponsor up and go. And it actually worked out really good. I mean, they, they got some sponsors to help make it happen and, uh, you know, got to help a lot of people maybe get a little bit better. Okay. So, so that part of it the was The only good. reason I'm going to say this out loud, <laughs> the only reason I asked it is because I've done clinics in Germany. You've done clinics in Germany. You've done clinics in all over. And everybody that I talk to almost seems like they like they say, "Well, how much is enough? I don't know, a thousand bucks a yeah. day." Ah, dude, I can't. Ah, I just like it's never enough money. Yeah, that's the only reason that I asked is yeah. is for education purposes. Because, and I don't need to know the dollar amount, but well, I'll, but, I'll tell you this. Um, and and I'm in the same situation. We, you know, we have to have extra help whenever we're gone. Yeah. Um, I don't like being away from my horses. The only time I schedule clinics are you, they got to pick a date in January and February when we're kind of on a slow time. Um, the way our 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 whole business model is now um, with how they have the non pros, uh, you know, the the youth kids like Emma can help every day, yeah. and I trust Emma to be able to lope my horses around. And this time of year, if they had a week off, I've been kind of pushing on my what are now three year olds since we got home from the futurity. And they were actually ready for a little bit of a mental break. And so I was good with her just cruising them around for the week and, and us going over there and doing that deal. Um, yeah, it's not it's it's usually not worth um, our, our time to get to go. But then I also got to, you know, thinking it hasn't been 10 years ago whenever we were starving to death uh, trying to make ends meet in this business. And uh, it seems crazy to, to turn down some of the money that they're offering us to come do them. And so we go do them and try to help people get better. And I think everybody appreciated it when we were there. And, and like I said, yeah. got to make, meet some new people. And, and it's pretty cool whenever you go to different parts of the world and see people that love doing the same thing that you love doing yeah. uh, and how big our sport truly is. So um, it's, it's not like it was, you know, whenever we got started in this thing and there was just little pockets of people here and there. I mean, it, our, our sport's growing. It's, it's, yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, it's a great no time doubt. to be a rainer. And you like being treated like all that, you know. You get over there, they pick you up in the car, they put you up in the nice hotel, get your name up on the lights. Yeah, huh? Jason Van Lundy now. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, score. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that did not happen, but we're no. okay with that. I mean, I've never really been a big uh, name in my light, you know, name and lights kind of guy. So, I, I'm perfectly okay with the the humble little apartment that we had on top of somebody else's house and. Yeah. And uh, it was it was good. Did you what? eat anything decent? Uh, no, uh, no. I you know what? I like I, food in Germany. I think it's very good if you have somebody that translates right for stuff. you and tells you what to get. Yeah, I, I, I will if say you get this. a hamburger and French fries. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm not a big German food fan myself. But. Uh, and, and we ate, uh, like the, the first night we ate to, at a steakhouse, and it was, it was really good. Um, you know, they had good quality steak. Um, we went to an Italian restaurant and they, uh, whenever I got home and I'm talking to the kid that works for me, he's from France. He said, you know, eating Italian food in Germany is not Italian food. And, uh, and I kind of agreed on that. It is in America though. Yeah. Chinese food was invented in America. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So anyhow, um, it was, I have my places that I like to eat and I'm a very, very picky eater. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a van steakhouse guy. Number one, Baxter Springs, Kansas. I've got to plug my parents place there. Um, but I like Texas Roadhouse and Olive Garden, those yeah. kind of places, and and I'm just used to what I eat, and uh, and so whenever I get different kind of food, it's sometimes kind of crazy. Now the fajitas that I got tonight, you know, what about provided those? from the show, you know, they were the yeah. real deal, yeah. top notch. I mean, yeah. we don't mess around. Yeah, yeah. 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 nothing but the best. For nothing but the best. Joe, whipped, he spent all day whipping Dude, that I stuff did. up, cutting all that meat and everything, yeah. Yeah. grilling yeah. it up just right. That was hand yeah, making... prepared dough for the tortillas. Oh yeah, it was yeah. hand prepared. Dude, I Great made job. those aluminum. Carry thing, you yeah. Know, the little yeah. pans. I made those are those. twenty-four layers of foil each. Yeah. <laughs> Folded, yeah. pounded them out, tapped yeah. out with a hammer. That's right. Yeah. yeah, just wash your feet before you walk on the tortillas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I did. That's all. I did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, do you good. do any clinics? You guys doing? Any, have you guys been doing any clinics lately? I, I think the last one I did was in Australia. That was cool. Like like you're saying, it's fun. I like doing it. I mean, you're gone for a while. It's hard to get away, but I, I, I like doing them once I get there. Yeah. You know, the logistics I don't care for. But. When's the I, last time you did a clinic? I hate them. South Dakota? <laughs> I hate them. South I, Dakota? No. <laughs> North Dakota? No. Don't Mandy Mandy and I, Mandy you and I went to, did we go to Italy where you had to call me? <laughs> get you out of bed we were, or what? No. No. I don't know. I can't remember. We were in Europe, and I went and did a clinic. And you know you're jet lagged a little bit. Oh. And the second day, I'm like, okay, we're going to, everybody the, after the clinic the second morning, everybody's going to be able to make a run, and I'm going to watch it and judge it and critique it. Yep. I could not stay awake. <laughs> You're falling asleep yeah. Yeah. the whole time. You're and I'm thinking, and some next person's walking in, and I'm thinking, if I can just catch... Five to eight seconds, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And pretty I soon my phone's ringing. The person's halfway through their run. And I'm like, ah. Oh. Is Mandy calling you, Tony, to wake up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. No, it was, it was, I didn't do great at that clinic. But <laughs> That's why he hasn't done any in a while. No. He's left yeah. at the last one. No, I don't, but I'm not a, like, I don't love, I don't love telling people what to do. I mean, it's just not my, it's not really my nature. Yeah. I don't, I'm not comfortable in that setting. And Mandy says I'm not bad at it. But the biggest thing for me about clinics, it was never about the money per day. I don't think we ever did a clinic where we left without a new customer. Yeah. I mean, that's where it paid off for us. I mean, yeah, you get your day money. You can't get enough day money to go do a clinic. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You know, I, I mean, agree. And, and, you know, we haven't really uh, been chasing clients uh, on, on a, a situation like that. I'm sure we could probably get some if we wanted to. But like you said, I mean, it, when you're going overseas like that, you're jet lagged. We our sleep schedule was so messed up. We didn't fall asleep the right way until the last night we were there. Right. And we were there for five days. And then you turn around and, and come back and coming this way. It was good. You know, we landed late on uh, Monday night. Had to be at uh, Teton Ridge the first thing the next morning for the media days, and so had to be um, at the show on yeah. Wednesday. Had to be at the show on Wednesday. Staying you know, up all the, late all the, at the, night. The, the demands are Dude. crazy. <laughs> yeah, wait. there's an autograph session tomorrow on yeah. Thursday, and yeah. Friday yeah. there's a picture deal. And but the the big part of it is, is I mean, you you do if you catch yourself dragging too much, you're not going to be doing the job that you need to do. So I think we could have opportunities to, to do really good on the clinics and go do those things. I could probably do one a month, but yeah. then my horses wouldn't be broke. And, and but you know what? The, what? the thing, though, I think it's important to do clinics. And I think I can not do a clinic anymore if I want, don't want to and get away with it because I did clinics. I mean, I did a lot of clinics when I was younger. Maybe not a lot, but I, I did at least one a year. Yep. And and I think they're super important for people to learn stuff. Absolutely. I mean, everybody in here has been to a clinic. I mean, when I was a kid, uh, Bob Loomis used to come up to River Falls, Wisconsin, 
and do a clinic at the college. And I mean, I'd go to that clinic and watch the whole thing. I mean, all two or three days of it. And so I think it's important to give back because we all know that anything we can do to help grow the business makes it better. But I'm, I'm at, and I think like Cade's done some clinics. Like I tell everybody, if, if you're asked to do a clinic, it's a great opportunity to get out and promote what we do and what gives to us. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I think I've, I've given my, yeah. <laughs> But I'm not going to do clinics. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really into it anymore. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I don't know that, um, that I necessarily enjoy doing it, but um, I, I think that my program is very, very easy to explain. And whenever I go to a clinic, I'm not going through, you know, most people are showing up on broke reining horses. And so I'm just talking finished stuff, you know, how to get that extra half point here or there. And, and uh, you know, the things that I do to prepare my horse to go show, I show people, I show people my program on how, how we do it. And, um, I think it's, it's simple and, and you just watch every single horse gets better. You know, if if, if they're there for two days, uh, the end of the second day, I kind of turn it back to them and whatever maneuvers they want to work on, we break it into sessions and, uh, they can work on a couple maneuvers. And by the end of that second day, every horse, um, is better than they were when they showed up. And that makes me I, I feel yeah. pretty good about that. Yeah, for um, sure. So it's it's a it's a good thing. It's it's good, um, man. I wish, I wish whenever I was a kid that I knew about those kinds of things. Um, we were just so far out of out of this part of the world on on horses that I didn't even know that those things existed. But it would have been uh, such a great opportunity. There were several young kids there that have some talent. I mean, there was one young girl there that she could go to work for any of us right now. Um, she was a young girl, and and we'd love to have her. Well, Tom uh, needs her. So <laughs> yeah. If you could right. give her Tom's phone number, that'd yeah. be great yeah. for well, the show. I probably could. Probably could. I mean, um, but I mean, whenever you sorry. see somebody like that, that's a young kid that has that much talent, it kind of gives you hope for the future of the industry. Yeah. And uh, so it's it's cool. Yeah, glad we went. I like the travel part of it. I like yeah. meeting people. Yep, it's in different parts of the world. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how many of us? I guess maybe you all thought of it, but uh, whenever I was a kid, I never would have dreamed of of going outside of really Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. You know, you know that that area there. Dude, just, there was no Joe, reason to ever leave it. Me and Joe have been to Japan to judge a horse show. Uh, you guys have been all over the world. We've been to yeah. Japan. Yep. And it was. I don't even know where Japan was, is. It was a. You, it was a you nightmare. Don't. <laughs> It was. I couldn't was, drive there. I'm pretty sure. No, it was, no, it was a nightmare. But I tell you what, that was awesome to hear that announcer. You know, when they're speaking in Japanese the whole week, say Zaska. Oh, right. right. oh, yeah. yeah. oh yeah, yeah, that's awesome. right. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. No, that was a trip. Yeah, no, this Good business trip. has taken us all all over the world. Yeah, For yeah. me, the traveling. I mean, I. <clears throat> starting when I was young, you know, I worked in Europe. So for me, the traveling after a while, like it's tough to get on a plane to go overseas for me anymore. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, it's so much, you know, and I try like right now we fly down to Florida, like every other weekend to see Carly the traveling. is just, it's a lot. And yeah. now with what, with what our, all of our schedules are, we're on the road all the time. Yeah. I mean, did you ever think we would be gone this much horse showing? No. And and it's a huge blessing whenever you think about the kind of money that we're running at right now and that we can basically do it once a month. And in the fall, we're probably doing it twice a month. Um, I never would have dreamed. Uh, you know, I, I was actually, I, I was sitting there at the house today getting ready uh, kind of for this thing and eating a piece of pizza and just kind of, I looked up at the wall and not rep at all's pictures sitting above our TV And I'm thinking about the kind of year that I had this year and the money that we won. And I was kind of comparing it to that year. And they're almost the identical year. I mean, like we had uh, um, my my NRBC. I I was fourth that year and and maybe 11th. And and this year I was fifth and 10th. And then at the Derby, I was second and seventh. And at the Derby this year, I was second and seventh. And then that year, won the, you know, a couple of the pre-futurities and won the big futurity. This year, I only won one pre-futurity and was fifth at the futurity. And that year, I won 329000 This year, you won 875000 Yeah. That's how far our industry has come in 10 yeah. years. Yeah. You know what I mean? That is crazy whenever you think all of those, you know, the run for a million, obviously, it's changed our industry. But adding the 100X and the Invitational and all those things that we're running at these massive checks all the time, 
And it's not just for the level four guys. Yeah. I mean, the level three, two, one guys are winning huge money. I mean, I just can't, I couldn't imagine it 10 years ago, the places that we would go and the amount of money that we can win now. I mean, our, our industry is crazy. Yeah. I'm, crazy I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought that up because part of the reason that we wanted to get you here so bad is because you were the leading money rider last year and you almost weren't eligible to go to the American because of a one, two, or a two, three, and four rider. Yeah. Like you were very close to getting bumped by Luca Fapani, who yeah. had an awesome year. Yeah. But at the same point in time, the number one rider in NRHA was number five in those standings for some reason because the run for the million wasn't counted. But mm -hmm. I don't know. What would you think of that? Well, you know, obviously, I mean, at the beginning of the year, we're sitting back in January. I'm on the professionals committee and I'm trying to get that whole deal changed. Not just on, on the qualifying for the American Performance Horseman, but our list of top 20 professionals. If you look down through that list, um, the, you know, for anybody that's watching this that doesn't know how our sport works, we have level four, three, two, and one. And, and uh, the level four guys cannot show in three, two, or one, but the level one guys, they can show in whatever they're eligible for. Um, so it, it's challenging um, because you can have a top 20 professional list that somebody that doesn't win $50 all year long in the level four against the top professionals, um, can be on that on list, that list. And, and high up on that list. Yeah. And it, and they're the way, our, I mean, I, I compare it all the time to baseball. We have uh, major leagues, triple A, double A and single A for baseball. Well, the guy that's the home run king, uh, you know, in in Double A, one year Joey Gallo he hits fifty some odd home runs in Double A. He wasn't the home run king that year, wasn't the home run leader for the major leagues because he didn't hit it against major league pitching. Yeah, and um, and so I would love to see our top twenty list be the the top twenty guys in in the in the top division. Yeah. Um, so that way, you know, we don't see guys that that uh, aren't on the list at all that should have been because somebody won a bunch of money against minor leaguers. Yeah. And, and that's no knock against, like, Luke, he had an outstanding year. He won $172,000 in the level two. Yeah. I mean, that's unheard of. Unheard of. Um, and then turns around the level three and wins another hundred and thirty or $40,000. So, I mean, huge money in those, those lower divisions. And it's great that our industry is at a spot where guys, um, as they're coming up, can still win that kind of money. Um, but you know, in that situation, he wasn't winning it against the level four guys. Okay. Um, so and, that's, and, that's and the, I, the okay, part now, that I struggle now with. The, now the tough question, yeah. uh, you, you're it's after the fraternity, you know how close he is. You guys figure it all out. Everybody's got it halfway figured out and you know, he's going to another horse show and you had a commitment. You had a prior commitment that you weren't going to change. You weren't going to renege on or nothing so how hard was that or did you concede in that moment in your head when you knew he was going to italy <laughs> yeah yeah i, I can't I, say that sorry i, think I don't know, good. <laughs> I don't know. we're gonna say that that means renegotiate that's yeah. exactly what that means yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just his head disappeared. His That's exactly what that oh, means, shit. you moron. <laughs> yeah, renegotiate the deal. Yes, you yeah. weren't rethinking. <laughs> yeah, rethinking. Rethinking. Okay, so uh, let me tell you how that whole thing broke. We're gonna give Joe a chance to Sorry. get himself back together. Uh, everybody my uses. Bad. Everybody my uses bad. that word. <laughs> no, yeah. I know. That it's hasn't just... been. That. <laughs> That hasn't been woke yet, has it? <laughs> woke hasn't been woke yet. I think what's funny, dude. Can we oh, make a T-shirt that says that hasn't been woke yet? God, That's right. a Texas thing yeah. to say, isn't it? Mo Monica will have that post next week. I can tell you this: for the people can't Sorry. see in the camera, we need to pan over. There's an in-studio audience over here that everybody's rolling over there. Oh, uh, so. I can say that, you guys. Oh. What is wrong with you? Okay, all you guys take okay. a drink of water. Okay. Get your act uh, together. Sorry. Uh, dude, what question did I even ask now, you morons? I, I remember the question. I do too, but so, I'm the one that had four margaritas before we showed up here. These two idiots are drinking water and Diet Coke. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. 
Are we back, gonna... back to Jason okay. being a champion. Uh, okay. okay. Time right. out. We'll be back with you back uh, in 10 sorry. minutes. We, we really need to zoom in uh, on Joe uh, because gosh. there are tears pouring down yeah. out of his face. He's having to wipe oh, the, the, the tears off of his eyeballs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sorry. I'm on top of my game tonight, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Go. Yeah, well, yeah. No, well, Go. We, we, we never weren't ready. <laughs> <laughs> we never weren't ready. Well, I don't know what you think does not ready, but we're ready. This is us being ready. So how all of that, I didn't even know that there was, I thought the the Futurity was the last horse show of the year. I always thought that. I'd, I've never looked at the at the show schedule and even have seen that there are other shows available after that. And you know what, after the Futurity for us, um, you know, the, we always shut it down, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. You, that's the time that your your three year olds get a break. You 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 have that time down. Um, we go back and and all of the two year olds that we had been riding on, we get to go back and uh, you know they got a break while we we're at the futurity, so we pick back up on those guys. Um, but I didn't think about there being other horse shows going on. Yeah, but after you knew about it. So how I found out about it was Mandy called me. Uh, she said, "Hey, I just wanted to let you know." I know that that Luca's close to you, and and I've heard that he's going to Italy, and I was like, well, what's he going to Italy for? And um, she she tells me about what what all's going on over there. She said, I just wanted you to know, you know, for if, if you wanted to go, you can go. And I was like, well, you know, I've I've uh, I I get that, and and um, I disagreed with how it was all set up. But even if he was had won his money in level four all year long, and we were that close. I was was not going to go to Italy, um, yeah. and and I, you guys all know me, and I wear my faith on my sleeve, and and you guys know that about me. But um, where we go to church at in in uh, Ada, Oklahoma, um, it's an awesome group up there. Um, for ever since we moved to Texas, I've been highly involved wherever the church was that we were at. Teach class, um, you know, help with the worship service, how whatever the case may be. Well, with our travel schedule now, those aren't things that we can do. You know, we can't commit to teach a class. We can't commit to be uh, to be helpful, really. You know, we try where we can, but um, be there and encourage people when we can, but uh, can't can't really do anything. And they've been asking me to teach class for a long time. I do these eternal rides, and everybody's been watching them, and and so they know that that that's a part of me. And um, whenever uh, I watch I, them, I know you don't believe it, but I've been watching them. Good. Um, but anyhow, so I'd committed to teach those classes and, uh, for the rest of December and January. And, uh, I didn't feel like that that was the right thing for me to do, to back out, to go chase $1,500 to maybe stay a, a little bit ahead of Lucas. Yeah. So if he went and he, he got ahead of me, then, uh, you know, I'd be cheering you guys on, on, on that first Friday and, and March and, and, uh, the guys that are going and, and, you know. Fortunately for me uh, and my family, you know, he didn't uh, get past us, and so um, it worked you out okay for us. Yeah. yeah so no, we, and it's no knock against New Luca. He did an awesome job this year. He had an awesome listen, year, but we we spent a lot of time arguing without a camera on. That it's it's weird that it's all level four guys, and now there's one guy that is not just a level four guy that has two, three other paychecks, and he's in the hunt. Well, that, that's how that happened last year. And I don't know if you guys talked about it on the show or not, but Cade was the guy that got knocked out last year. And I was a spot behind Cade, and I never did calculate it out. There were two level three guys in it last year. Matt Mills and who else? Uh, Fernando. Fernando. And Fernando won a lot of level four money, um, and, and I never did break it down. He won a ton of level three money, too. Did that hurt a little? Did that sting a little? Yeah. And, and really – you know what that did um, for for Cade. I mean, everybody in the world knows who who Cade is, and he's the the golden child of our sport, right? Um, but Sometimes. that that was going to be more opportunities for him. I mean, there are. Guys... I mean, he's the golden child of the sport when he's not tripping and falling in his right lead slowdown. I mean, then he's kind of a, then, I mean, it's yeah. kind of a disappointment. Yeah, yeah. Well, I still love him. That's that's what happens whenever you you let your good buddy own one of your horses. They're gonna throw you under the bus. I'm just saying. on publicly yeah. on every occasion they can. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I can say though, I was I was really I was really impressed and relieved when you didn't go, because you also didn't go on vacation with us. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So that's right. if you wouldn't go on vacation with us for that reason, but then decide to go to Italy and show horses and chase uh, and chase fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to. Fe- how, I don't know how to felt. And about I want that. you to know that we played golf five of those days, and not one swear word was ever said. Hey, I will ask you this: yeah. 
Would you guys, okay, you've seen me last summer try to hit golf balls in your backyard. You crushed one. I did crush one. One. Okay. (laughs) But would you guys have actually wanted to be on a golf course the same time as me going, golly, he shanked another one? Yeah, Tom's that way all the time. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Tom's pretty good around the hole, though, right? Like, you can make it. Oh, man. (laughs) You've never been better around the hole. That's what she said. You've never met anybody I better. Always. Jesus. What am I thinking about? God. Oh, I mean, she combs his hair, too. They're going to yeah. have to cut this whole show. Oh, yep. I have a reputation, guys. God. <laughs> well, uh, well, interesting you should say that. <laughs> oh, God. God. Man. <laughs> How did I ever let that come out of my mouth <laughs> at this table? <laughs> That's what she said. I'm just glad we got a camera on. This is, this is live. This is unscripted. This is off the cuff. That's why we like it. Yeah. Christ. But, How, but our viewers uh, like it natural off the cuff, too. Come on. They're getting to yeah, know everybody. I, I know that... I've been comfortable this whole time, but right now my face is so hot. <laughs> Uh, uh, God. Uh, yeah. So golf. So yeah. So playing golf. golf. Uh, playing playing golf. I'm terrible at it. I've yeah. I've played one time. The the last time that I used a golf club, I couldn't make the ball go where I wanted to in your backyard. So no, you would not have wanted me on vacation. Yeah, uh, you you would have been. You did okay. You would have been okay. fine. It was fine. It would have been fun. No, but I always wondered that because they try to get me to play, and I'm like, it's gonna be so bad. I think it would just slow it down. And yeah, but you would be bad at it. I mean, Jason's yeah. an athlete. Yeah. <laughs> here, here, here's what I would recommend if you go. And the one time that I did go, I had to make three trips to the clubhouse to buy more balls. Yeah. So just buy three clubhouse trips worth of balls before you go. Stick them in the bag. And so when you shank one, you're like, hmm, not chasing that one. Yeah, I we're gen- just going to hit it again. I yeah. generally oh, gotcha. carry enough balls for me and Tom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Kate and I lost right. 20 balls in one round. Lost 20? Oh, 20. Well, I'd fit yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It, was, it was it was unbelievable. The ocean was too close to that golf course. Yeah, <laughs> dead gum water gets in the yeah, way. Yeah, I know. I can tell you, one thing that is fun is just rearing back and letting it fly and seeing how far you can hit it. And mind, whenever I hit it really good, it goes like this. And I'm like, man, I crushed it. Then it just starts going off that way. And I don't understand that. You guys how are more alike yeah. than you think. Yeah, no, no we'd, we'd be fine. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. we'll have to try it locally sometime before you guys commit to a, a golf vacation with yeah. me. So. Yeah, no, we'd okay, be fine. no golf vacations. Yeah. Going to the American, you're probably going to win it. Best shine. You know, actually, I'm going to go on going to be big time. That's the plan. And let me... Ex- <coughs> <It's stuck>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to explain myself. Um, so last year, well, actually, when they were competing head-to-head... Course, this is cool. This is inside information we're getting. Yeah, we didn't well, know he was showing... Are you supposed to publicly say that as at this point? I said it oh. yesterday, yeah, yeah. So it, it'll be out be there. Big time, okay. Um, and, and the idea behind that is, is um, you know, the money that they use it. So Best Shine, he won five hundred and seventeen thousand dollars last year, but five hundred of that did not count towards my qualification. And the other horse was my highest money earner that counted towards the qualifying. Um, so you know, I thought it was fair to go that way. And you and, were using the horse that you won the most money that made you eligible for this to go to that deal. That makes sense. And, and the other side of that thing is that horse, um, preparation wise, I can show up and, and not do anything and just go have the same kind of run. Okay. Oh, that's cool. And I think the way that that deal is set up, they went through how, our, what our preparation is going to be like our warm up area the way they described it to me is, is we've got a tent uh, with stalls in it. And then at the end of the stalls, there's just a little pin, like uh, not much bigger than a round pin. And, uh, and the cow horse cutters and rainers are all going to warm up in that pin. And then you walk down the road a ways through the parking lot, come in the side of the stadium, and there's no place to warm up in the stadium. So you're going to go from this little round pin, walk across the road, come around to the back. They said you can walk around behind the end gate there a little bit. Uh, but the guys that showed there last year said you really don't even want to trot on it. Yeah, but, I um, mean, sailhorse Horse Van Lanningham's got that in the bag. I mean, that's right up your alleyway. Well, yeah, I've done things on concrete before, but it's been a while. You're good. That's uh, old school right there. That it's is old, old school. school. You're going to have to channel some of that yeah. Shawnee, Oklahoma stuff. Yeah, yeah, put it to it. No, some of that Gunny Matheson paint world. 
Oh, yeah. Prep. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Now, that is legendary. Have yeah. you heard any of that stuff? I, I haven't heard any I'll of that. I'll tell you about it off camera. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you about it off camera. Yeah. I'm kind of a big deal. I don't know if you guys know. Yeah. We're going to put that on a t shirt, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. Yeah. I'm not woke. I think that's already on the t shirt. I'm kind oh. of a big deal. It is? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Whose t shirt is that? Yeah, but I think I've seen that a lot. What yeah. the hell with them? Yeah. <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. So the the challenge of that deal is going to be having a, a horse that is is super easy to prep, and then you go in there and, and go. And and I think that the best shine on his best day beats the other horse on his best day. Uh, going to be big time on his best day. I think he can be a hair ahead of him. Um, but uh, with the way that the the setup is, um, I know the kind of run that I'm going to go have, and if I stay clean everywhere then somebody's going to have to have a really good day. And and the other four guys all have great horses. I don't even know what they're all showing. But if they have their best day, they might get around us. If they make a bobble somewhere, I'm going to be in the hunt. So That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Top five, for sure. Yeah. I think I'll be in the top five. Top five. Yeah. And it pays pretty good down five places. So, yeah, yeah if I can get the top five, we'll be set. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. All right. Segway. Segway. So, did you watch the last show at all? I have not watched the last show. I was in oh. Germany when you guys filmed it. Mm. Oh, that's oh right. dude. I, we, I got a a clip. Set up. we got a little clip here we'd like you to watch. Do you remember yeah. our pre-show conversation you and me just had? <clears throat> the pre-show like, conversation. About like, making fun of Tom a little bit and stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm all about just that. Just set it right over here. Yeah. We're making fun of Tom? Not exactly. We're making fun of Jason? Oh, yeah. On the show? Oh, we how, made fun of you. Not making, not making fun. How rude. Rude. Joe, you might have to run that. Hey, that's YouTube, dude. I can hey, run me space some parties. Space, space bar. Bar. It's already bar, ready. Don't fuck right, it up. Hi, Jason. Jason is a very good friend. Friend of the show. Friend, friend of the show. show. Friend of our, all of ours. Mary friend of the show. Great, great, great guest of the show. It was pretty funny. Oh, my God. One reaction was pretty funny. He was hurt. Oh, this is Which particular run was that? I mean, That's it, the this year. It, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then and then we're walking around. I, I still have on the show and and we're walking around outside and he's telling somebody the story of Man, I couldn't believe it. I should have marked last night, Jason. And it wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, Well what do you mean? And then I told him the things and then he goes, Well yeah, I get that. <laughs> Still. <laughs> all right, all right. Live reaction. We, we did have it. that conversation. So, <laughs> that, and, and I'm gonna. That stop. was great, though. That was great because it was the best. I've seen you look at the scoreboard and do this, but I've never seen. Yeah. This was great. Andy, hey, that, did I do this? Yes. 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 I, I need to see the playback. I hey. didn't, I didn't, you guys should put that in there. Oh, Jason, yeah, yeah. we will. We will. To hit Jason's defense. I was still on my horse walking out. I can visualize it now. I can. Yeah. I can. I'm flashing back. <laughs> okay. So let me tell you what I thought. Some people don't even know they do it. Okay. Some people don't yeah. know they do it. So this is first. He's having an epiphany right now. Yeah. So I can actually. I'm. I'm. I'm getting back in my body. I'm going back to where we were at that night. Doing you are that. getting sleepy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's coming back. <laughs> so the, how my futurity went this year. The horse that was probably my my best shot of winning um, was the horse that uh, in the first go around, um, he was going to trash it. And, and in the first go, he runs in, he drags his tail, stops up, turns huge both ways. I'm sitting really good whenever I leave the middle. I run my first large fast circle. I come out of lead coming across the middle, and this horse doesn't, like, fall out of lead. He, so he falls out of lead, and I'm like, you know, I knew he fell out of lead, but I, I push it back, and his hip goes back underneath him, and it feels wrong, and I know that he's out of lead. And But I get to the end gate, and I'm like, Emma, is he still out of lead? And she's like, yes, he's still out of lead. <laughs> and so right before, I just, like, I get it. You know, I, like, smash it in, and then he goes out one stride and then back in another stride. I mean, I'm just piling up the penalty points. Futurity over for that particular horse. But then my bay horse is really good in the first go. And and so I'm like, all right, so I'm going to have him. I've got two in the semifinals. Um, and then he's my first one, I think, to go in the semifinals. And, and I had a big score, but then I marked a horrible – I mean, I was a – I don't know. 
I don't remember what it was. 15, 16, or 15, 15 and a half, 16 or something like Not that. Not a horrible score. Well, Just whenever a you slightly do that above the, average one. Whenever you do that in semifinals, usually your futurity's over. And so I'm thinking about all of my dreams have been crushed. I, you know, <laughs> I was planning on having three horses in the finals, and now I may not have a horse in the finals at all. And it did. It hurt me to my heart. <laughs> I mean, like down deep. And it wasn't that the run, like it deserved any more than that, but I thought, I, you know, I thought that I did some big stuff in there, okay? Like, I turned pretty hard, and he turned really good for me, and he stopped really good for me, but I do get why, you know, and, and we, you kind of talked to me about that, that, that maybe that one. A little much. Uh, yeah. yeah. We didn't, were, didn't need to mark any more than the 216 that he got. We really love that. It hurt your heart, It too. did. Oh. I mean, it was down deep. I was like, oh, I'm going to be sitting in the stands on Saturday. It was the big oh, one, too. No. It was the big one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you ever saw now, yeah. Red but Fox. See, on, on that particular one, I, I've really been practicing on this, really trying, because Adrian says, you can't, you know, like I have, I have in the past... Whenever I see my score, I look at the judges oh, and I'm dude. like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, you look like Zoolander. Yeah, <laughs> like 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 Boom. you work on the you visualize at home yeah. how you're gonna scowl. Yeah, like well, it's and, bad. And that is uh, um, that's that little punk kid coming out in me that that needs to be fixed. You know <laughs> that, that kind of thing. No, no, so, we we love honest reactions. Oh, we loved it. Great. I mean, it's we part it. it's Look. part of the deal. You know, yeah. whenever we put what we put into these things, oh, yeah. and and then you hurts. feel like you're getting it done, and then sometimes it doesn't go your way, and you're like, what were you thinking? And then usually you go out and you watch the TV screen, and you're like. Oh, that's what they were thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So sometimes yeah. it doesn't always look how it felt, uh, kind of deal. Um, so yeah, I I actually I came out of the of the end gate. I don't even remember if it was me or if it was Emma that had had shown. Um, it might have been Emma that had shown at, at Tulsa, and she comes out. And from where I, I'm standing at the end gate, I mean everything looked really good, and they they mark her score, and I I'm like, man, that was they were way off on that. And I said it right next to the bit judge. And I'm like, man, those guys blew it. And then I go over and I watch the the screen, and she misses her middle by, you know, a pretty good amount, and I couldn't see that. And so her half circles went to zero circles or minus half or whatever they did with it. And even though she ran down there and stopped big, um, you know, well, one of her rollbacks, she kind of elevated a little bit through the rollback. So they marked her exactly what she should have been marked. And so I had to go back over and apologize <laughs> to the bit judge because, uh, you know, making a fool. But, you know, it's just that – that reaction yeah. right oh, whenever yeah. it's called and yeah. and you've got however many years worth of work into that run oh yeah and it doesn't go like you want it to and and sometimes i make an idiot out of myself but that's well, not no that wasn't no. the first time i've made an idiot out of myself no. you didn't make no. an idiot of yourself <laughs> it's not gonna not. be the last <laughs> yeah i just yeah. want you to know we watch you do it we all love you yeah. <laughs> hey I just want you to know from the bottom of our heart, we love the reaction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It was, I, it I was kind of my head went back and I'm like, oh, yeah. it was yeah. great. Yeah. It was the best ever. Yeah. 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 Well, now I'm going to have to, maybe I should like practice some some responses. Yes. Yeah. 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 We can just make it a thing. Yeah. 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 Take your hat off next time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like maybe sing a song oh. about how sad yeah. I am. Yeah. 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 Oh, I awesome. know what I want to maybe you know like the little kid that just struck out and he kicks the dirt when he, yeah. maybe I'll get off and I'll kick the dirt or kick something. the dirt please. oh I've done yeah. that and yeah. you know what we'll do we'll we'll record making fun of you for doing it yeah sorry man. I like it man and and I will say you know hats off to you guys I've never had anybody invite me on a show <laughs> and really try to embarrass me I mean that was fantastic you guys are class uh, acts all the way yeah, yeah. well. Well, it's what we do. <laughs> hey, hey, and I mean, it's only like an hour and a half round trip for me, you know, to yeah. be able to drive down here. But I did get a fajita. fajita. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Joe's special yeah. foot mash, foot fajitas. Yeah, fajitas. Yeah, fajitas. Right. yeah but yeah. I mean, in all seriousness, we're doing it because you're the number one leading rider, and you're super yes. successful. And people and we want, knew you'd be fine. And we yeah. knew you'd be okay. And people want to hear this stuff. They want to yeah. hear. It. They yeah. don't want to hear how good everything yeah. is all the time. We want to know what you're thinking in that moment yeah it was it was all my hopes and dreams crashing away. crush yeah. crush and, awesome. and you know i mean you guys have have all been in this situation but whenever you're you have so much riding on it not just for you but for the people who've been paying you for two years to ride that horse too yeah and you just don't want to disappoint them um yeah. so i mean there's there there is a lot riding on it and uh 
Um, I do. I've always been a guy that kind of lets my emotions show more than it should. Well, what I would like you to know is I just went to judge's school and I just passed my judge's test again. And Great. Did they use that at the judge's school? Look they, at this idiot. Yeah, holding his heart. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. did use the run of that bay horse his first go, not the semifinals go, but they did use his first go. And I don't remember what the scores are, but there was a few point spread, a larger point spread in that room than there was that day. And mm -hmm. the purpose of doing it is to teach the judges that, hey, you need to pay attention to this. And because you're flawed in this room, you need to learn from it. But somebody did mark you a 77 in that room. Mm. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but they are so smart. I mean, so smart. They and, got it. And, 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 and really, we should be trying to pick that person's brain and, and really lie. figure and out. Try yes. to, you know, and trying to mold more judges to think is, like they do. Man, I mean, and, yes. yes. <laughs> Love that, that person. Judge yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Adrian, uh, Christmas list, uh, that person? <laughs> yeah. 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 Done. Yeah, You're on it. Oh, I don't know times. who it was. I'm not gonna throw. I'm not gonna name names. Well, they're smart. I mean, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> yeah. They no. can see quality. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Well, yeah. So I, hey, have my, I have my tight jeans along, on that day too. Your, so. <laughs> along with the fraternity, your I think it was the bay horse in the finals. You're oh, running and stop. You loved that one, didn't you? That was a. That was. That was a pretty good stop. Okay, so <laughs> let's backtrack. And, and your reaction to it was classic. <laughs> bay horse. Yeah, so it's the same horse. horse right? He makes it. He's the last horse to make the finals. Okay, right yeah. there towards the end of it, and um, so in the so you had the reaction for no reason at all. <laughs> it was early in the semis, dude. I okay, told you, okay, okay, I'm emotional. Okay. You know, he's going through some stuff, <laughs> guys. Okay, he's got a lot riding on him. Gosh. Okay, okay, okay. We'll move on. Ah, man, they just keep bringing it back. <laughs> so, thanks for bringing this up too, because this is special. <laughs> So that horse actually, um, he is, he's actually a very easy horse to show. He's very easy to prepare. Um, he's, he's limited in, in some spots, but I know where he's limited at. And I've, I've, I've been, was pretty smart how I showed him all year, I thought, because he, he won, I don't know, 30, 40,000 bucks and was going to win another 50 that night if I hadn't messed up that run in stop. Yeah. And so he uh, warms up great. He's a plus half stopper. Okay, and that's what he is. And if you run him at plus half speed, you leave your hand down. He's real physical going to the ground. You know, he doesn't slide 35 feet, but he's going to slide 20 feet and do it with some style. And so, uh, but he turns big and does his thing circling. So he warms up great. And I've had that feeling in the makeup pin before uh, on Not Rough at All. Uh, Where you're just going to go for it. It's like like I swell up in confidence, and I'm like, <laughs> it's fixing to happen. <laughs> okay. This, I can this see is it, it right yeah. here. Ooh, cue up the video for <laughs> this right yeah. here. Yeah. I'm about like, to take home the big trophy. Yeah, you can insert the video. Uh, and yeah. you sent it. You were so, like, yeah. I ran through the gate like I was on Not Rough at All as a, <laughs> as a six-year-old. Yeah, I mean, yes. we were coming through that gate where we're trucking, right? And I mean, wide open down through there. And I say, whoa. And I don't even know what happened. I mean, I came to a stop. Like, yeah. it came to kinda, a stop. Kind of. I mean, it was we were several abrupt stops in yeah. sequential order. There was like nine yeah. sets of tracks. If, if we would have, if we would have, like... You know, if he would have hit the stop and he just slid that whole way to where I oh, finished, yes, I would have won winning. the yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We'd be having a new story. Yeah. So yes. you guys right. would be talking about yeah. the man. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. How, how did that guy take that horse yeah. and go do that? Luke I mean, could have saved himself a trip to Italy. Yeah, that's, right. I mean, probably, that's yeah, exactly Luke. right. Yeah. That's exactly right. And they would have probably put a statue of me out front on a on a deal like that. And so I said, I. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm sitting here kind of like this. I'm not really squared up to the world at the end of it. And I get to backing up, and I just start laughing. Yeah. And I mean, in the middle of the arena, I'm, I'm just oh, laughing. That was the best part. And man. I was like, oh, that didn't go like I did at all. And what do you do? I mean, yeah. it, was I just going to get mad? I wasn't going to get off and ride yeah. out. I mean, I, so... And, and then actually after that, he was really good, and he yeah, went he around, and he, and he stopped good for me on the ends. But man, that was... That was a bad stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so, I, I, 
I don't even know. I, I bet there's a good picture there somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah there has probably to go Joe up has wall. it. Don't you worry. <laughs> I think I got he's it on a, video. He's a go yeah. to Waltonbury and look up your bad photo and text it to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Get, yeah. That, that, the good friends that you all are. Oh, yeah. I can yeah, imagine right. just yeah. that. You, you yeah. know Joe will find it if it's out there. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, um, and, and the funniest part was. I get done with that horse, and I mean, I, I hand him off to, to my guy, and I jump on my next one, and I head over to barn six, and I'm getting ready, and Luca, or uh, uh, Andre is over there, and he's like, why were you laughing? Why were you laughing after that stop? I mean, I, he was mad for me. Yeah. Know, the thing stopped yeah. so bad. I was like, what, what, what was I going to do? Yeah. I mean, if they could let me run At back in point. and try it again, but I mean... It was just, I mean, I was so confident that it was going to work. <laughs> and the, the, the bad part about it was like, so I run through the gate, and, and this horse always runs straight as a string, but I've never run that fast in his life. And I go through the gate, and, and he gets on my left rein. And I'm like, uh-oh, that's, that's, I'm in trouble that's now. Good. I'm in trouble now, and I'm trying to get him back over there. And I say, well, crash, crash, mm, mm. Uh, He was like, why are you laughing? And he yeah. His uh, <laughs> accent, and I'm like, uh, that wasn't a very good Italian accent, was it? This is awesome. We got it. Yeah, we got it. This is awesome. But, um, and he was exactly right. He, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that at one time in his life, Andrea felt bad for me. Like, that was such a bad <laughs> No. Story. He didn't feel no, bad for me. No, no he did not. Yeah. Probably, no. probably not that time. Why were you laughing? He was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 But anyhow, oh, that uh, yeah. So, awesome. so that was. Uh, that's Two awesome. really opposite kind of emotions, you know. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's great. My heart was hurt, and then my pride was just beaten so badly that I just had to laugh it off. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So now that's horses, though. I yeah. mean, that's yeah. all of us. <coughs> that's yeah. all of us. Everybody's you been just there. so happened to it, like really good. Yeah. I'm. Yeah. We're getting water. Oh. I'm she just me. walked right into the picture, didn't she? Yeah, but Tom walked yeah. off camera. It's a more relaxed show now. We're like we're more open minded. I really we feel talk. like you guys were more professional last time I was here. I'm we just were gonna way, throw that we out. We, were. Be, we used to be way yeah. more professional. Yeah, that is yeah. true. That is <laughs> yeah. true. We're getting less and, and less professional yeah. as we do. And this, probably getting yeah. more people watching your show now that you're yeah. less That's and less the professional. Point. Yeah. That's the point. Yeah. But, Bringing it real. People want to know that stuff. Hey, it's it's yeah. just like you're sitting around your your dining room table. They're getting the inside deal. And That's right. That's people right. are getting to know us. People are getting to know you at the same time. So it's actually a good thing. Yeah. You know? So yeah. we right, don't so have we don't have to all be perfect at the same time. We can make fun of ourselves, and you're being a good sport about it. Man, we appreciate it. I, I tell you, um, this this sport is the most humbling sport there is, and mm -hmm. I mean that's one of the things that that I love about it is how much of a challenge it was. If I'd have ran in there and, and I, if I'd have won the futurity on that horse, there would have been like, yeah. You, you there, would have been slept, sleeping on the couch. Adrian couldn't have dealt with you. Yeah, she? I mean, it would have been really good and everybody had just been shaking their head. Kate had been standing outside going, come that guy. <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ernie Tannehill would not be proud of you at this moment. Yeah. Well... He is our Bacardi sponsor for the show. I mean, I can't say that he's our rum sponsor. You guys have a sponsor? Yeah. No. 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 I was, was going to say, people sponsor you? No. No. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. After this episode. Yeah, they're going to be, millions, it's going to be just coming in. Millions of dollars. Yeah. We'll we, send you a check. We have, <laughs> we have made hundreds of dollars on this show. Hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds. Dude, the checks I cash in this show. <laughs> They're laughable. Yeah. No, I, I try to split all the all the profits, everything above the expenses, I split equally with these two. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, hey. I didn't know a check for point zero zero anything would clear the bank, but apparently you can put half a thousandth of a penny in the bank and they'll take it. So I kind of wonder, are you guys going to charge me for dinner then? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> no. We were talking about that, but I yeah. think you're okay this yeah, time. Yeah. We were gonna wait and see how the show went. Yeah, yeah, I think you're doing a good enough job. Yeah, then I might get a bill. Yeah, dinner's yeah. dinner's on the house. Show didn't go over as good. Yeah, I don't know. How was dinner? Do you want a bill? Is that okay? No. Um, I'll just take another propel water. Water. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna whenever I leave, I'm no, taking all the propel waters. No, I'm still, good. still I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll, I'll I'll take some of these whenever I leave. That's how I'm gonna get paid. <laughs> Number one leading rider, of 2023, ladies and gentlemen. So on the finals on your horse that you and Andrea were 
Well, they held your score, and the whole yeah, yeah was like, dude, yeah. that was weird. What, what was all going on there? Yeah, so I, I think don't, they held your score because you were so good. I I really think that whenever they they held my score, they must have went in your racing points because I thought you know I I had to have won it. Yeah, right? I did too. Again, you were gonna win. Yeah, so <laughs> I I really don't know what they were holding me for. I watched the run um, several times. Um, I I don't know. Um, I think they were holding it. Because you had a legitimate shot at winning, it was a great run. Yeah, well, but, but I was fifth. So. Yeah, no, but they were holding. They were holding Andreas for that reason. They didn't want to announce a tie until they were sure it was a tie. That's oh, why they yeah. held. Yeah, for I sure. didn't. That's a little weird. That's I, a stupid rule. If you make, I don't think it is a rule. I mean, I don't. Why they? Why would they do it then? Well, they uh, held. They held Andreas. I think there's some kind of rule. You don't just do this off the cuff. I think they did. I don't think so. I oh, think you think they were holding the wrong. score just so they didn't announce it wrong and then by some and chance I, come back? Yeah. And... Pick me. I think that because of what happened with you at the Cactus with Billy a couple yep. years ago, yep. when they announced it, then it got all screwed up. I think they were trying to avoid that situation. Uh, maybe. I think that's where it came from, is they were trying to avoid what happened there. Yeah. And I think they were reviewing your left roll back. Yeah. yeah, and and that's what I got from it. So whenever you watch it at live live speed on the thing, I mean, whenever I went to to roll back, he tucked his nose a little bit and then and then went. Um, but there was like, I mean, if there was a hesitation, it was that long. Yeah. Um, so I knew that they weren't going to penalize me, um, but I didn't know how good it was going to be. You know, score wise, there were some things on the on his on my run on the the finals that I thought was was outstanding, like the stops themselves. The turns, um, my right side circle I thought was really good. My left side circle, that horse got away from me a little bit just as far as he was going a step faster than I wanted to go. He stayed between my reins and guided. Um, but just like going around the ends weren't as clean as, as, I, as they should have been, and I think that was the difference in him winning it and being fifth. Um, there the was a lot of people that I was sitting with that thought you were going to place ahead of Andrea, and, I mean, we're all sitting there socially. We're not judging it, but it was a great run. Yeah. It wasn't a good run. It was very good. So yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I've 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 watched it back. You know, compared the two, um, and I think that it just boiled down to that. I think it was uh, how he how he loped back to the other end after his stops. You know, whenever once I rolled back, uh, you know, I held him a little bit, going the other direction. I think that was the difference in him winning it and being fifth. So. Um, and I'm fine with that. I mean, I think if you're gonna if you're gonna win the futurity, I really feel like um, that that everything that you, I mean, I, I say that. I mean, there's there's obviously been mistakes and stuff on futurity champions in the past, but I, the the other two times I won the futurity, I felt like I was I was the winner. The, the winner. No, there was no doubt about it. And and whenever I was done, I had no nobody was gonna come up to me and say you shouldn't have won. And, you mean and, they didn't make a show where they were saying, yeah, oh, they, dude, we thought no. you had your yeah. second. But if I would have won that night, I think that there would have been somebody saying, well, yeah, but how, you know, oh, after you rolled but back. That's, but that's in every run. I mean, yeah. like, we have a completely different conversation if Cade doesn't step out of lead slowing down. Yeah. Right. I mean, that horse, to me, wins it by a couple <clears throat> of points. Like, it's not, then it's not oh, yeah. even a thing. Well, he wins it by a half a point as yeah. far as realistically in that night how it was judged. Yeah. Yeah, by yeah, a half a point. And by I didn't point, look at his I don't horse think so. sheet. By a point and a point half. half. Ooh, that stings a little, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh. yeah. This is two time. Oh, no, I'm sorry. One time for Turdy Champion. Kate yeah, McCutcheon. but how many of us can say that? Everybody. Yeah. I well, mean, not that, everybody, but four or five guys for sure. Well, there's there's a lot of that's that's true at every event. Yeah. You know, if I hadn't had that little bobble, I mean, the, the night that, that I got ahead of you on, on Worcester for winning the NRBC. If your horse doesn't turn around and kind of mess with yeah. your foot there a little bit, then you're probably ahead of me. That yeah. takes away from. Well, I know things. this year at the Fraternity, I mean, if I would have stopped, turn better, circle better, and lope better, you would have won slowed too. down better. I'd have but, won too. But it's one little thing. You know? I mean, it was one little thing on eight different occasions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. Yeah. That's, uh, that's exactly right, Gunny. I mean, you were this close, close. I was this eight, close. Different times eight different times to being really yeah. good. I could have been a one time Fraternity champion. Yeah. It's coming. Here. It's coming. Uh, I don't know. I got a good three year old this year. <laughs> just give it, don't give it to Cade. I'm not gonna. Yeah, just, just remember, give it to Jason. Duh, you know, I, I might, feel, Jason. I feel I'm like not you gonna... have two friends. Why does Cade always get your horses? I feel like I might give it to him. I'm not gonna lie. 
Uh, what about that? Mm. Yeah, and he's going to make stuff. me a bit, you know, it's like tough. seven years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, still, <laughs> I still have his bit that I'm going to copy. Oh, yeah. I plan on copying it. Yeah. I don't know. I'll get time. Awesome. Next weekend. He's going to get to it. Yeah. I'll get you to it. You know he'll get to it. It's been on my brain. Right. I've been losing sleep over it. The problem... <laughs> don't lose <laughs> the, the problem was it, with, with the whole deal was I took it to him. The week he was closing on purchasing his ranch. Yeah. And when he purchased his ranch, he was like, you know what? I really should start working again. Now he's got work to do. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah I went into a large amount of debt. I lost some, I lost some fat. <laughs> Dude, you. you well, uh, he's got a six pack. Come on now. How about yeah. it? Yeah. We're going to have a sh- the show one of these days whenever he's right where he wants and just start bringing the layers. Oh yeah, the uh, the viewership of those two groups. Yeah, yeah. Let's not. I'll do, do it now, but I don't want Mandy drooling on me in front of Kate. I mean, no pull of hair. <coughs> Tom's so, here too. That's bad. <coughs> Sorry, Tom. No, I, you're good. Yeah. You're good. I told you. It's all a negotiation. <laughs> uh, me and Jason kind of took over this episode. I'm sorry. We should let you talk a little, huh? No, no. I'm good. I'm good. That's why I pay you. And it's nice to finally, you know, finally you'll uphold your end. Well, I made my check finally cash. <laughs> uh, so on another note, <clears throat> what about all these horse shows now? Are you, do you, you going everywhere you can? Or are you trying to pick and choose a little bit and to try and be home enough? Because if you went everywhere, it's, it's, Theoretically, real hard to get your three-year-old's road. It is, and I'm trying to figure out. This is all new to us. I mean, to to all of us, we're we're trying to navigate these waters. We haven't had these opportunities in the past uh, to have this many horse shows to go to. Um, I know that one. It's part of its energy too. I mean, like these young guys, Cade. He he jumps in the trailer all the time and and goes and and um, you know he's obviously got good help with the house because his three-year-olds are still broke at the end of the year. Uh, for, for me, um, well, Gunny trains them all year. And no, I did. Kate, Kate I did. Shows them the future. No, we I know did. how this works. Last year, I did not. Yeah. He trained himself. He trained that one himself. The one, yeah, he fell down on mine. Yeah. So the the big part of it is is uh, having the horsepower to go that many times because yeah. we can't just be blowing those same horses around there as hard as we got to go show to be competitive. And always for me, like at the end of a four year old year, I mean, I'm selling horses off. Because I I just I keep that next set. I mean, if you guys watch me, I rarely show anything past their five year old year. Well, I have two seven year olds this year. I mean, we're keeping horses keeping horses around that would have moved on in the past. Um, you know, the bay horse that we've been talking about and kind of poking at. Um, he's I'm I'm keeping him around at, to use at some of the smaller things, and then I'll help the people that that own the horse show him at at some of the majors and um, by by. With having the American, we've we've got to try to win money where we can. Yeah. Um, so so yeah, I mean our days are just getting longer because we we've got to to have the horsepower to be able to go to all these events. Do you keep a certain number of stalls and that's like that's it? That's my number and I'm not taking any more. Yeah. Um, so we have, uh, um, you know, we're I actually I brought in four four stalls. So we did have thirty. Now we have thirty four. Um, but those are. We're, for my help to have places and Emma's my help too. So she yeah. has a stall and, and the kid that works for us has a stall there. And, and, um, so we have those, but yeah, we, we try to keep our number right around 30. Um, and I ride, um, you know, I, I have 19 on my string right now. Um, and then the others are kind of divided, divided up. I say that we have a, a few, like the, the two year olds now, the stuff that we own, they're all out in the pasture. So we have a few more horses than that. I've got a couple of guys that are riding. They ride smaller numbers, um, and then and then I've got my string. I ride everything that's uh, uh, three and up is is all on my string, unless it's something that I know is not on my string. I've called the owners and said this horse isn't enough, and they're like, "Well, hey, why don't you keep that horse for uh, for your assistant?" Right. And I've I've not done that in the past, um, but this is the first year to do that. So um, we're we're trying to do things. To, to help our guys grow and mature a little bit too, uh, you know, as horse trainers um, that, that all of you guys have done for years and years. But with the amount of stalls that we have, um, I really need those just to keep me in horses. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And and you're one of those guys to me 
Um, like there's a few guys. There's and I think very few. There's Casey, Andrea, Cade that can go to all. They can really they can go to all the horse shows. They can go to all of them and have good stock at yeah. all of them. Yeah, yeah. and and the, you know guys like and I think Sean keeps a limited number of horses and you and of the top guys there's a few of you that just this is how many stalls i have and this is all i'm gonna have Mm -hmm. and you can only as many as many two coming three-year-olds as it takes to find the right (coughs) ones now Mm -hmm. i mean that takes a takes up a pretty good part of your stalls yeah yeah and for me i've always done it with um like six you know used to we were starting between eight and twelve head and between those eight and twelve head we never bought outside horses um and and still really don't but uh, between those eight and 12 head, those were going to be my three-year-olds at the end of the year. So whatever we had sent to us, however they were bred, we, we showed them. Right. Um, and, and now, uh, like last year, we started uh, maybe 14 or 15. And this year, it's back in that uh, you know 11 or 12, 12 range. Um, so our numbers are pretty small, but they're with me all the way through. So they know my program pretty well by the time they get to their three-year-old year. And I think that that I'm able to get around some of the guys because uh, because my horses are confident in my deal. Yeah. Um, and so um, I've always been uncomfortable going out and writing a check on on the the those kind of horses um, that it takes to compete. You know, if like if you come to try to buy one of my top three year olds, they're going to be really really expensive. Uh, in the summer of their three-year-old year, and I think everybody else is the same way. So I'm assuming the guys that go out and buy horses, they got to spend a lot of money to go be successful at the yeah. end of the year. I've always been really uncomfortable with that, and so our our business model's always been different, but it's worked for us. And and um, and but now I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so we have uh, the Futurities in Florida, and we have the Futurities in Tulsa, and, and Las Vegas, and all those places that we can go to, and the and the money is is good. Um, do I need to start taking more, a few more two-year-olds or keeping a few more of those guys back, um, just to have pre-futurity horses instead of trying to show them all at all of them? Um, because I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of, uh, of the money there. So I'm trying to still kind of work this all out in my head, how it's going to work, um, to keep up with all these guys that do keep a hundred head of horses around. Yeah, no, and it's tough. And at the end of the day, you don't have to have that many, right? I mean... You know, Brian, he's in the American with one horse. Yeah. You know, he, he won Ocala, won the Congress, won the fraternity. And I think, what was the last hole into the American? How much money? 375. Three. So, so basically, you win the fraternity and you're, yeah. you're in, yeah. unless you didn't win anything before that. Right. So there's that. And it would be interesting to see. So it's already 2024. I don't know if they have the rules in place yet for the qualifiers for 2025's american Mm -hmm. i don't know if it's going to change have you heard anything you're on the are you you're on the professionals so uh, yes but last year um being on the professionals committee i thought that we had i thought that it was changed i talked to um uh executive committee members that had said that it had changed and it was only going to count level four money did they have any say in this deal? Because it's a separate deal. Isn't so it? what what this boils down to and uh, is Teton. It's their show. They can do it how they want to, which is 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 fine. But we were we were we were under the um, uh, we we were ass- assuming that it was going to be level four horses only all year long until I'm giving you guys some inside information. Whenever we were out at the million. Um, which is in August. Uh, you might have been standing there. Cade might have been standing there. But I know that Casey was standing there, and I know that Andrea was standing there. And we were having that conversation about, okay, you know, what I've been told is this level four money only. And Andrea told me right then, he said, they haven't even had the meeting for it yet. He said, that's not for another couple of weeks. And then when it, once they had the meeting, that's when they came out and said that they were going to, uh, you know, all levels were going to count. They were going to keep it the same way as it was the first year. Um, now, what I have been told now is that that was going to be the last year to do that. So it's my assumption that this year all the qualifying is going to be off a of level four money only. So we have an evil or uh, a level 
uh, an evil. So we have a <laughs> level playing field. Yes. Um, which is is all we all want. You know, we all want to have the same shot to be able to get qualified, uh, which we've not had the first two years. But like I said, they're the ones putting the money up. Teton is. They can put it how they want. Um, the only, you know, the, the thought that went through my head on that is, yes, they can make the rules. They can decide how they want. But if everybody doesn't have the fair shake, then maybe the money that's won there shouldn't be counting towards NRHA money uh, because NRHA guys were overruled on it. Um, now, having said all of this, um, these guys are doing an amazing job promoting Rain. our industry. Yep. Raining, cutting, cow horse, the Western way of lifestyle. And if, if, if we got to take one on the chin every now and then to help our sport grow, then we take it on the chin, we move on. And like I said, it was it was hard, you know. I'm sure for Cade last year, we talked about that to start the show. Um, but if it's if it's help helping grow our sport, um, you know, giving more interest to our sport, it's just going to help us all out in the long run. And a guy like Cade is going to be in this for another 30 years, and and he's going to make more money than all of us ever dreamed about. Um, so it's just going to be to his benefit, even though he got bumped out last year. And he's and he's in it this year, so it doesn't matter. And, the, and this year, it turned out to where the top five guys, it, they weren't in the same order that they would have been if we counted all the level four money or all the open money that everybody could run at. But it, it turned out to be the right guys, and so it worked itself out. Um, but I do think, moving forward, um, that they have decided that that's how it's going to be. Now, we'll find out in August if, they, if it changes <clears throat> yeah. again. But I, I'm, I'm on, I, I've been told with certainty from high up guys that that's how it's going to be. Yeah, and if we'd had this discussion this time last year, you'd have said the same thing. Well, that's true. So hopefully that's how it is. I right. mean, <clears throat> and I agree with you. Teton's done an amazing absolutely thing promoting our sport, doing a hundred percent in support. Yep. It's if if they want to say it's first, fifth, tenth, fifteenth, and twentieth that go, so be it. That's right. what it is. We're gonna go, and those those spots are gonna go. the The only thing for me is. We came this close, this close this year to our leading money earner not being at the American. And to me, that's that's the only thing we got to be real careful. Yep. Because that's a bad swap. Yep. I mean, that's a bad swap, losing your leading money earner for, and, and again, we all like Luca. It has nothing to do with Luca. If I was Luca, I would have went to Italy also. Yeah. Yep. Same thing. I'd have went, <clears throat> shot my shot, and tried to make it happen. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think it needs to be just level four guys and because that's that's what we're trying to showcase. Well, and I, I've not been in his situation. Um, and and I, I thought an awful lot about this on if if one of the guys that said, you know what, I'm actually taking a spot from somebody that deserves it, one of the lower level guys were to say that, that would change the mindset of of how everything's done. Um, you know, if somebody would step up and say, you know what, I really don't deserve to take this spot because I haven't been beating that person. I haven't beat him at all. Not even a single time all year long. Why should I take their spot there? If somebody was humble enough to do that, the guys at the top would say, man, they'd applaud them. First of all, that person would get famous for the action that they took out of it. And then they'd get the top guys up there and 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 make it work. But um, I mean, and back to our sponsors from Disneyland. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, they kind of went too woke. We're we're out on them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Even That's why right, we don't like Disneyland. Yeah. We don't yeah. even watch Sports Center anymore. Yeah. Tinker Bell. Oh, that was also Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Hey, what did you do with all the money you won this year? I mean, you won eight hundred. Eighty-eight thousand dollars. Come on, Adrian, Jason, what'd you do with it? Did not they go on vacation. Go on vacation. Hey, hey, did you buy a muscle car? Because I know if I'd have won that much money, I'd have had me a sixty-seven Chevelle. Chevelle. I'd have picked Blue. you up. I'd have quit saying swear words. I'd be eating vegetables. I'd go to church every Sunday with you. I'd do. I'd do everything right, but I didn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, but it didn't. Um, <laughs> didn't happen. That's another conversation all in itself, but you quit all that stuff and it'll just help make your life better anyhow. It'll okay. just come to you. Then yeah. the Chevelle yeah. comes to me. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Right. You just manifest. I don't know if it, that, that, that's how it works either, but. That's how it works. Let's um, just leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Did you buy a gun? 
a new suppressor. I did. I did buy a, a, a new gun, a sweet one, by the way, and it was cheap, but it's awesome. Uh, I bought a 12 gauge semi automatic that looks like it comes off of a Star Wars movie, and this thing, it's like, when I put the sweet side on top of it, it's awesome. And I'm not a shotgun guy, but it's awesome. Nice. Yeah. I knew he bought That's a cool. gun. Yeah. I don't know why I knew that, but I thought awesome. I knew he bought a gun. Yeah. 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 yeah very cool. Yeah. No. Um, Nothing. No, oh, interesting. No, he's trying to think if he can say it or not. Oh, okay. whether I should. Um, Go no, ahead. you don't have to. You don't have to. Nah, yeah. throw yeah. it out there. You don't no, have to. Don't weaken now. No, you don't have to. She's she's got her arms crossed right now. Yeah, I don't know. Just some folks that should have had some help many years ago from me, and they haven't, and they got it. That's awesome. Know. Yeah, that's Very unbelievable. Cool. Yeah, so that's awesome. Tom did that with his money whenever I worked for him, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a charity. I feel sorry for that poor kid. Yeah. Here's your salary. <laughs> I know it's on a different level. We talked about what you did with it. I remember now. Yeah. I just didn't remember. Yeah. Right now. Now I remember. But yeah. Well, that's and that, awesome. That, that is, and I'm at the end of the day, I'm going to go right back to the same thing. At the end of the day, I feel better that you didn't go to a vacation with us because you also chose not to go to Italy and that at the I told Mandy I said I thought he was bullshitting us <laughs> <laughs> but then you weren't bullshitting us yeah. so now I feel better yeah no I I and 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 realistically you know at the end of the year you're tired you know how many shows that's we why went you to go on vacation two months yeah. yeah you go on vacation dude I was tired before we went on vacation yeah I could have vacationed at home yeah I told him that. He was mad at me for a minute. I still went vacation. You still went vacationing, yeah. No, um, you know, I'm I'm not like uh, I am not vacationing this year though. Mark my words. No vacation. <laughs> yeah. We with all of the horse showing we've got right now, it's it's hard to, to do ah, a vacation. We'll talk yeah, about yeah. it on yeah. vacation. Yeah. <laughs> He's going. We'll talk about it That's on right. vacation. Is that what he said? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, yeah. cool. Great show. Yeah. Thanks for letting Thanks us for pick coming, on you. Man. Thanks hey, for yeah. being a good Listen, sport, dude. I, I so appreciate the opportunity to come down here and yeah. let you guys bully me for an hour. I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's fantastic. No, we'll yeah. have you back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, we enjoy it, too. <laughs> well, just, I give you guys some yeah. pretty good material. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, next week, we're going to bully Todd Summers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> See, yeah. good times. I good mean, times. I really feel like... Am I in that? I'm in that spot then. No. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Oh. But you yeah. you peaked. You kinda you kinda almost touched it with the Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. yeah. The uh, I took my hat off. Yeah. 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 No, I I don't even I, I, I don't know. I had no clue. I mean I, like it actually did hurt. <laughs> and so well, I, I think I don't know. I, Whenever I came out of the pen, now that you said that, like Adrian actually thought I was having a heart attack. Yeah. Yeah, she's over there going, you know, she was you worried okay? about me for a second. She's yeah. like, are you all right? Well, you kind of grabbed your chest. And I was like, well, I, I was just kind of shook, took back a little bit. But yeah, <laughs> I nearly died right there in the arena. <laughs> Yep. Yep. Good time. And then your friend Tom outside in the practice pitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was no good, dude. Yeah, it sucks. Well, <laughs> the show is Sanford and Son and the actor's Red Fox. If you want a YouTube, it's pretty hilarious to watch. Yeah. You might want to catch Yeah. That's right. Elizabeth. Lord, take me. On that note, oh, Jason, so yeah. thanks for coming. Yep. Yep. Appreciate, Thank you. It. Appreciate you guys having me. Take it easy. All right. <laughs>